Hi, this is Carolina Burns, and this is my presentation on the Intervertible Forearm and the Vertebral Foramina. The Vertebral Forearm is a single large hole in, that is encircled by the vertebrae. The Vertebral Foramina aligned by the adjacent vertebrae to form the vertebral canal, which allows the passage of the spinal nerve to go through it. The intervertebral forearm are created on either side between the vertebrates, and it allows the passage of the root of each spinal nerve, the spinal artery, and the segmental artery, the communication veins between the internal and external um, plexus, and the transverminal ligaments. The intervertebral disc lies between the adjacent vertebrates in the vertebral column. Each form a fiber cartilage joint to allow a slight movement of the vertebrae and it acts like a ligament to hold the vertebrae together. They also act as a shock absorbent during walking, jumping, and running. They are the thickest on the lumbar and cervical region. The main function of this disc is to contain the nucleus pulpus, limiting the expansion when the spine is compressed. Because of the lumbar um, vertebrae carrying a larger amount of weight, it can be ruptured in, on the intervertebral disc. Let's imagine for a minute that these are my vertebrates, these are my uh, spinal roots and nerves, and this is my intervertebral disc. An injury on the in the intervertebral disc may result in may be caused by a certain physical trauma on the, by the spine. On a level three may result in thigh and knee pain and, and tight weakness. And damage on level four, L4 may cause pain from the lower back to the foot and foot weakness. Treatment may include moderate um, exercise, heat therapy, um, physical therapy, and massage and, and painkiller. Now this will create the pain because as you see, the nerves are not touching the integrated disc, but if this rupture, then that will create that the bones to touch, creating the pain that goes into your body. Um, other treatments may include surgery, so that's something to consider. And with that, I conclude my presentation. Thank you all for watching.